So today we're actually doing competitions in Classic again. My favorite competition is running, which is the Recurve Comp, and it's basically highest total combined between Whitetail and Mule Deer. I have a decent Mule Deer, but my Whitetail definitely needs improved. So we're here on Red Feather, and the sort of recent theme. I like that. Wait, no, I don't. That's a Blacktail. But the sort of recent theme has been to sort of take different routes than I normally would. So we're gonna do that, and we'll see if it pays off. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good buck. 150 to 170, so he can't help too much. I mean, 162 is what I got now, so... I think he could beat it. All his times look good. I think he might actually be a really small 8x8, so... That should be decent. And... More than one blacktail? Yeah. Alright, so... That is... 26. If I can get him there, the blacktail won't spook. Yeah, he's gonna come a little closer. They might not spook anyway. They made the recurve really, really silent. It's kind of, it's a, all the traditional bows are a lot quieter in this game now. And I think it's an attempt to make them kind of viable. But I don't want to spook stuff kind of the way we're facing because that's where I'm going to go. And if you don't play classic, animals spooking past other animals will actually spook them too. So we don't want that if we can help it. And we got to go kind of down through his spine there. Nice. Now, I don't know if I want to actually sit here and take out all the black tail, because it looks like there's three bucks. And that's the only decent one. I think that's really my only option, though. Unless, maybe if I just wait, they'll kind of spook this way. Let's do that. Wait for the bigger one to get here and then just take him. All right, this is awkward positioning, but suppose that'll work. All right, cool. And they're going that way. One ran back behind us, but nothing went the way we're going, so that worked pretty good. And we have a blacktail, which is 150. And anything above 162 is going to help us, but it's definitely not going to move us up a place. Got into the heart as well, 164, so we've already accomplished improving some, but I'm hoping to get at least like a 170, 175-ish for this hunt. But we'll see, I don't have a ton of time. Not a bad picture, though, and quite nice to actually get that that quickly. And you're sneaking in here, so just going to kill you so you don't spook other stuff. And we should be able to get on our way, so I'll kind of draw out where I'm going in case you're wanting to uh, replicate this. So I fast traveled here, and I'm going to go down like through this area. And then, basically, we're going to get into, like, normal whitetail territories, which is just, like, up through here. So, like, most of the time I just start at this lodge, but starting over here, at least this time, worked pretty well. I'm actually not really sure if this is the guy that I was tracking. Because I hit a track on the way over here, and he just hasn't grunted. I happened to spot him up on the hill. And, obviously, we need to get him out of the way, because we don't want to spook him towards where we're headed. But I kind of hope it is, just so I don't have to worry about it. Um... I don't remember if I ID'd a moose track. Because that's not the active trail. Let's just uh, scoot down here real quick. I am on a buck track, so that's not the one. Hopefully we find whatever that one is later, because I think it's... I didn't even see what that said. Up to 85? Yeah, so not really something I want to track, but it would have a chance. All right, we better take this before she steps on us. Hopefully, get him on the walk. And I think she's going to want to charge. Or, okay. I know I said they made the traditional bow silent, but that's kind of ridiculous. We're just going to crawl out of here, because it's best she doesn't run and spook other stuff. But yeah, another buck that's just kind of hanging out. Not the one I was tracking. At least he's a little bigger anyway. Alright, we should have a buck. I just heard like a footstep in the water. He grunted down here, yeah. Okay, that's unfortunate. Just hoping for something a little better. Yeah. Something I used to say all the time was, if you get the small ones out of the way early, there's a better chance of big ones later on, which I guess is true if there's big ones there, but that was probably more just me trying to keep myself sane. There's just something about every single grunt. You never know what it is, but 
when it's that, it's a uh, little bit disappointing. 53. Giant. Well, I don't see any bucks, so we have to kill this, because once animals walk under a tower, they tend to spook. So we don't really want that, but we are into the kind of normal whitetail route now, so we'll see if that produces anything for us. That is not the sound I wanted to hear. We'll probably just try to get around that without spooking it. But we had to take that one. Otherwise, I could have spooked stuff up ahead. And I managed to literally walk right into it, so... I like that. Let's kill that. And... Up the river we shall go. I don't think you care about the score of the doe, so... Let's go get him. And, of course, he's nothing special, but... He is max weight, so... Had we hit his track and spent a lot of time tracking him, that wouldn't have been much fun. And he's still better than the does we've been shooting, so... I think we will take that. 114, but he weighs 89 kilos, so... Pretty good chance that would have been a track I would have ended up following, so I'm at least glad that he called and made it quick. Alright, that's interesting. So I'm just tracking a buck. He's actually decent. I don't know how big. But I know he was alright. But I know he's spooked. So maybe if we go get this one first, that'll actually give him a chance to calm down. But I must have walked quite near that one. What the heck? How are there so many bucks around? I'm very confused. I guess the best thing to do is going to be try to go get this one because he's closest. And again, like how he didn't spook. I don't get it. Like the buck that I was tracking just ran through here. But this could be interesting. We got three. There's got to be some potential for something good. This might actually not be good. And I got to really try to make a good shot here and not spook him because he's going to go exactly towards the first one that spooked. I don't know why he's going that way. He didn't look too impressive, though. I think he's a 120. But at least getting down here, we're a little further away from where the second buck, I guess the second buck, the one that grunted while I was tracking the other one. There's too many deer. But yeah, it's just a little 120. I'm hoping I have that range about right. Okay, good. So now we got to get back over here. Please tell me that's a buck that I already know about. That is the one I was initially after. So I know he's decent. I don't know which to go for here because I don't want stuff to spook, but... We'll look over here and see if we can get eyes on this anyway. Yeah, he's not anything too special either, so... While he's stuck on the rock, it doesn't really matter if we do drop this guy or not, but... Get him... Is that the same one? It is. All right. So now we go see just what that one I spooked actually is. He's actually guaranteed to be at least a little better, 165 to 185. Now, I think he's missing a tine, but I didn't uh, get to look. At least not super close. And, of course, the one that's going to run off is going to be him, but I didn't want to spook him again. So we'll go and collect those other two, but I think he's a 6x7, so that's going to hurt him a little bit. So this was like the first one we shot, that's 109. Dude, chill out, I'm trying to, trying to get caught up. Alright, we got this one, which is, that ever loads 105, now we got another one to go look at. I've been playing on fast traveling for like... Uh, 25 minutes now. But I keep getting more grunts, and I am going to fast travel before we leave, so there's at least more potential after we shoot this one. Are you serious? What is actually going on? Like, is that five? Five different bucks all around? I'm going to show you on the map, because if you're curious where I'm at, it's right here. I don't know why... This little spot is so full of bucks right now. 
but this is just getting insane. That said, the qualities lack a little bit. But this is another one, 90 to 100, so I'd hit that track. Maybe. Like, while I was maybe trailing the one that we hit in the intestines. And I'd ended up being disappointed and spending a bunch of time trying to get him, so at least it's good that he grunted and uh, gave us that. But there's, I think if I counted right, four bonus bucks since I started tracking that one. And I did see this other one, too. He's actually kind of like trophy because he's that tiny. Whatever he is, we'll get him, too. Yeah. Giant, 25 to 45. But I did have an intestine hit, so that bigger one should be dead by the time we get to track him. I've never actually had a whitetail below 30, which apparently is possible. I've been told it is, and I guess minimum score estimate being 25 probably means it is. But I don't remember. I think usually the score estimate starts at 30, so maybe? Nah, 33. That's what they all are for me, so I don't know. But after all that insanity, this dude should be dead, and then the plan is, unless there's... 10 more grunts before we do it, we're going to go fast travel. And actually, to be honest, as far as trophy shots go, that actually worked out because we shot him in the shade and he died in the sun. But 170, so that's a decent improvement. We're plus 8 since we started this. And he is actually a 6x7, so he's got like this time in the circle and not one on this side, so he's probably grossing quite close to 180. Like, if we could combine this one with the first one, like this dude's frame and the first one's points. That would have been really something, but we're going to fast travel and see if we can manage to clutch not a cow moose. Hopefully you one more buck before we wrap up. Well, that's a buck anyway. And I think just in the interest of saving time, since he's not going to help us, we'll probably just go ahead and take him with the gun. There's a... Uh, as far as I can tell, probably not much else around here for deer. So I'm pretty good with that. I actually was only planning on hunting an hour, and it's been over an hour and a half. And honestly, I mean, this is multiplayer, so I can check. That's going to be the 15th harvest, and I'm going to say the 12th white tail buck. We had a black tail buck and two does. I don't know if all of it's been shown, because this is probably a much longer video than I intended, it on, intended on it being, but... It's kind of good. I mean, we actually improved our whitetail score. Actually, three times. It, uh, got progressively better. So, yeah. I mean, as far as, like, strictly one species hunts go, that wasn't bad. I'd still like to get a little better whitetail uh, for the comp, but 170 is at least a lot more winnable. So, we got, eventually, 109. And I think it's officially time to wrap up worked out pretty good so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time